Hi Capricorn, happy birthday. This is Esoteric Tales and Tarot and this is your January start of the year 2024 crystal ball scrying and tarot card reading. And I wanted to get straight into the, the crystal ball. I've been outside with it for a little while and there was a song that came to mind and it's kind of a dancey track called Simple Life. I think it's by jerk boy and somebody else maybe Nietzsche or anyway I heard that uh, it, it's to do with traveling and meeting someone and it was more that I felt like it was for, for singles that song in particular about you maybe traveling in the time of in the southern hemisphere here it is summertime so it's the summer holidays and it felt to me like there was something to do with that um, city people heading out to the country or heading to the, the beach or the sea. And that was the feeling that I was getting that they're craving the simple life. And it meant for, for all as well, if you're not just single, but you're coupled or you're in some kind of confusing relationship even. It was the idea of going out and seeking the simple life. So I felt like that was really important for you. Uh, other messages that I am getting, I'm seeing, I'm seeing long grass here, extremely long grass actually, and I'm getting just to leave that Capricorn. I'm feeling as though, as well for your birthday, there's been a lot going on. You've had a lot of commitments, and I'm seeing it as it's representing the long grass of having things that have gotten a bit uh, out of control, out of your normal schedule of what you would have had. And it's funny because I'm just seeing you instead. It's a gift to have this going long and think of it as, as you know, just lay back in it and enjoy it for, for having grown long. And don't put yourself under the pressure, Capricorn, of having to have everything perfect. I'm just seeing you hopping. Uh, I saw a, a rabbit hopping along, hopping from place to place. So I'm seeing you bouncing around lots of lots of travel and movement here. So if you're not actually going on a holiday and traveling, I feel like you're moving from place to place. And social bunny is what I'm hearing as well, social bunny. So it's nice Capricorn. I feel like it's not going to be, I feel like you're going to be, I heard the word economizing. So it's got oh, nice light coming through for the crystal now. Yeah, it, it's as though you don't, normally you would want to be spending more money or showing more wealth and instead you are, you're enjoying the simple life. Going back to that song, they're showing me the song again. That's what we mean. So the simple life is really important for you at the moment and it's a great energy. I think everybody's feeling as though they need to to start thinking in, in ways like that now because there isn't as much... We're in a different time now. We've got, we've got to start thinking about the simple life and having, being happy with having less or not focusing on the, the presents and gifts. I know that you're probably good at that, Capricorn, because birthdays can, when you're in the December around Christmas time, you get roped in for having the same presents, you know, over. Uh, over this time you've got the tower coming up there is big change coming into this is totally understandable this time I always think about Scorpio so there could be a significant Scorpio that's uh, coming up here with the tower but it's like the foundation something's been rocky so it's needed to come down here Capricorn allow that to allow that to happen don't have a resistance when the tower comes in because especially when you're ending out a cycle, which is what happens with this time of year because we're coming out of out of December and heading into January. And yeah, great, you've got the Two of Cups coming in next. So perhaps a relationship has needed to, one might need to be removed out to bring another one in or you're having to actually go back to the drawing board a bit and perhaps that's what this sort of holiday break, simple life is about spending quality time with a key relationship person. And yeah, we're getting the three of pentacles here. So working on that, working on, on the skill of being able to 
nurture the relationship that you have that's on your mind. So that is very important here for you. I'm feeling as though you're like an apprentice that is starting to understand what is required to make that relationship happy or what you need to bring in a new relationship, which is going to be a two of cups kind of lovebirds energy here. I didn't even want to show you the tower because we've got we've got this lightning coming in and there's fires and things. And I'm thinking too that this could be that uh, plans with this trip, you know, perhaps you have to rethink with this trip because there could be a way that you need to change directions and go. But again, this kind of simple having your cup of tea and sitting there in in nature and just enjoying the simple things is what's going to be very fruitful for you and you're able to to grow that you know this is the balancing stones here one on top of the other and you're coming in with a beautiful card the ace of pentacles if you see my channel you'll see my niece asha when i call her asheteric she <laughs> calls this something else uh quite rude actually which is funny but that is always to me here we have a pentacle in and flowers and in the hand and it can kind of mean an offer that's on the table maybe you're stepping up a relationship to to an engagement or that's what you're thinking about is how to have the abundance to me the ace of pentacles the most fantastic money card so perhaps the new year of 2024 is actually going to be a lot more abundant but it will be after something's fallen down and after you've had to rebuild rethink i'm feeling as though if there's work that has been on your mind too and growing something and this sort of apprenticeship energy that you're building the skills that you're going to have to bring in more money you have the moon card here a little bit of pisces energy coming in and you know this is lovely because you are resting there beside the water and able to gain the energy there to settle your nerves, make you feel as though you can calmly go into 2024. I think that's important. I feel like the energy with the bunny, it was hop, hop, hopping, but it's quite scattered energy. There's a wolf howling to the full moon here. Of course, we are in full moon energy as I do this reading. So that is important for cycles as well because you're closing out one. Don't forget to rest and be grateful and close out the cycle so that you can bring in the new energy. Look at you partying it up here in the Three of Cups. So again, the social bunny, I just feel like there is going to be plenty of people around you, lots of drinking and uh, celebrations. I feel like you're you're really going to have that kind of Christmas cheer energy from the social aspect that's coming through. Ace of Cups, lovely for relationships, bringing in a in a soulmate, having the emotional controlled energy that's required at this time coming into the new year. Feeling as though there's going to be twenty twenty four. If there was something going on in your relationship and you're coupled. I feel like you can actually overcome that in quite a nice way. It feels as though something can change and bring a lot more happiness in this 2024 cycle here. Funny because we've got the death card coming into the tower, Scorpio and Scorpio together. Scorpio could be really significant, but it's absolutely clarifying that this is the time where a cycle ends so something that wasn't working for you, Capricorn's going to be shifted out of your life. Let it go as well. If there was something or an energy that needed to be gotten rid of, if you're holding on to anger or resentment towards someone, allow the new energy to come in because the here we have, have this grim reaper type energy that's cutting out with cutting out what you don't need and you know scorpios are, are perfect manifestors for the, the death and rebirth the death of something old to bring in the perfect card to come up at the end of the year and cycle into the new you've got the magician in reverse you have all the tools that you need 
to be able to bring this two of cups together so the fact that it's coming in reverse just tells me that everything that you need is there on the table you have your rod your sword your emotional heart and your pentacles so enough of everything to bring in what you need but you're not quite at the point where you've been able to manifest it yet so the infinity symbols on the top it, it could be that i'm thinking straight away i was thinking leo type of energy it could take around until august until you're feeling really comfortable with this two of cups or until the soulmates completely in your life if you're looking for somebody to come in i'm seeing roses there there might be um flowers that will indicate who this person is and let's see what's coming up with the three of pentacles you've got the moon energy again here once again we're talking about this cycle that we're in the moment so within the full moon cycle try to clear out that energy that was here that needs to get this new cycle started and start working on it so you've sort of got a month to get cracking on your energy of whatever you need including if there's anything hidden away it's going to be revealed to you so that's what the full moons are very good at and because it's coming in now and it's coming later in your reading I feel like there's a whole moon cycle so the next time that I check in with you try to have done some of that lying down meditating and clearing out this old energy because you don't want to take it in to the new you know it could be a a block over your ace of pentacles abundant energy if you haven't sort of cleared out the old and been able to reveal what's coming in for the new energy so that's over your three of pentacles kind of apprentice building card there these are nice cards because i mean we've already got some that there's already a double up when you don't have many on the table i find it really interesting there's a fly up one already too we have the lovers the lovers gemini energy coming in over your ace of pentacles your pentacles cards here could be your fellow earth signs as well yourselves capricorn perfect energies for you you've got your tauruses and your virgos so people who are you know comfortable with their money and good with it you've got the lovers of gemini coming in it could be regarding a gemini but i feel as though uh, this if you've got that right energy for the correct to bring in the right kind of relationship or repair one and focus on that simple life you'll find that you're very abundant and happy again we've got the flowers popping up here so making sure that you're spending the time focusing on relationships because they are going to bring in the money that you need as well you could be working with somebody too you've got a lot of major arcanas on the table you've got the sagittarius card temperance lots of different signs here popping in to say hello who could be involved but temperance is beautiful here a balanced energy can't help but notice that we've got that coming in to cross over the moon and it does look here like you've got that same sitting by the water and finding the balance and reflecting is going to be really important on things that could have been i'm hearing now to take responsibility or ownership of the things that might have caused the tower and the death card to come in closing something out so don't focus so much on what somebody else has done that has caused the pain could be separation or the upset that has come into different types of relationships you know have a reflection and see what could i have changed myself you've got the wheel of fortune that has popped up in res in reverse but that's not too bad because of where it's crossing over i'm thinking two things straight away just a caution with the amount of of drinking as well don't drive uh, driving's not going to be good if you've been drinking i feel like you're going to get uh caught out doing that so please capricorn 
don't drive the the wheel being over straight away i thought about it don't be tempted to there's normally another way and you know different um ways of getting a lift home ask for friends to help so that you don't uh i feel like you have had too many it's somebody feels as though they're tipped over here but now if I'm to clear out that thought out of my mind and go with what it's crossing over in other things, because that was just a message for you, a little bit of a, a warning here. But the Wheel of Fortune, again, you know, perfect energy for your January coming into a new year cycle, a new cycle coming in. At the moment, it feels as though it's a little bit delayed. You don't have it fully as you want. I think that's because we've got the double moon on the table. Not everything's totally revealed. We're waiting for another whole cycle to come out before you're going to feel as though, okay, I'm heading in I'm heading in the right direction. Bottom of the deck here, yeah, you've got the Eight of Swords and that's coming in with this Ace of Cups energy. I'd just like to highlight that this one is about communication and, and ideas that are in your mind. So up in your head, the thoughts are that you've somehow bound yourself to something that you feel like you can't get out of. Uh, it's not the case. You have here an easy way of, of cutting out whatever this is that, that's making you feel as though you're restricted. Uh, watch your words. And, you know, the, the blindfold will reveal something here, howling to the moon, will make you hear where you have played that role is going to help you to shift out of the energy, find the peace, find that nice two of cups, cup of tea, relaxing, growing old together energy. It is, I'm hearing that it's very much about up in your head that you feel as though these things are are the case but you actually you just have such nice cards on the table to start the year really important ones to uh, this is straight away a uh, leopard skin jasper beautiful stone here that you could think about if you don't have one if you have one work with that uh, crystal it's for self-belief and sort of a determination that you can that you can actually overcome whatever is coming up. So it's a nice one for you to have for your meditating and reflecting. I am just going to see whether there's a romance angel card here that is going to give any extra message for the Capricorns here. Here we go, worth waiting for. So a nice relationship message, divine timing is at work in your love life. And that is exactly what they were telling me, the simple life. And, you know, worth waiting for. If there's something that you need to work on, it's worth waiting for the results. It is going to take a little bit of time. You've got that moon energy. It could be around the Pisces cycle when Pisces season when you're starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. It needs to be cleared out. That's what's happening at the moment. That's what can feel in this tower energy. It can feel like oof, it's chaos and like you're not keeping on top of everything. Worth waiting for really means that the energy is changing. Whatever you're doing with this Three of Pentacles in the Apprentice card, you're on the right track. You're building towards the Ace of Pentacles. Money will come in and the Lover's Energy, really nice. It's coming. Enjoy your celebrations. Don't forget to socialize, but, you know, keep it in check. Don't jump in that car. And keep in mind this lovely temperance balance energy that's over your meditation because I think it's going to be really important here straight away drawn to it again with the angels that are watching over you so you know divine timing is at work if you're wanting a healthy relationship to come in 2024 could be definitely your year certainly a good year for money and career because there's something changing Somebody's going to notice the skills that you've built up over time here, and that's going to put you in a good position. If you're looking for work, they're going to notice how hard you work. Capricorns are sort of known for that too. They like to build their wealth. So you've got that here available to you. I'm feeling like you could be just hearing here that 
somebody who's listening in might be thinking about taking something to do with hospitality and um, the cocktail making type style of things and going in a competition. So that's uh, something that's really quite interesting and exciting and it's coming through there that yes, that would be a good idea for that specific person. And I think it's going to be a pretty cool start to 2024 Capricorn. So I hope you've enjoyed your birthdays and you know, you've managed to fill up your own cups, <laughs> of course, with a nice beverage or something to celebrate. It's um, always one of those things where Capricorns feel as though they can be missed out. But in fact, everybody gets together around uh, this Christmas season and often you're the most remembered or memorable birthday because everyone's gathering at that time. So enjoy the celebrations. It looks like a really good year coming up. A few things to work on like everybody has, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel, Esoteric Tales and Tarot. I'm on Instagram and YouTube and shortly probably going to try the TikTok thing. So um, be checking back in again with a few other videos. Thanks for joining.